Dear viewers, now we will be learning about another contrast study and this study we call it barium meal and this barium meal we are using the same barium and now this contrast material has reached to the stomach. How I know that this barium has reached to my stomach we use the fluoroscopic guidance and with the help of the fluoroscopic images we determine that the contrast material has reached to its desired location. So let's highlight the different parts of my stomach and we can also see the duodenum and part of the jejunum are visible within this image. Even if you can pay attention you can see the distal part of the esophagus has also been shown up within this image. So let's start from that esophagus and you can see the barium which has gone through this esophagus has highlighted the lumen and the walls of this esophagus and now from this esophagus you can see that I'll use another color for giving outline to my stomach. Now this part of the stomach which you're looking at this part is known as the fundus. The fundus of my stomach. From there onwards, the contrast material has been filled up and we can see the lesser curvature and there you can see the greater curvature of my stomach. And the part which is enclosed in this area, we call it the body of the stomach. And from there onwards, if you can pay attention, you can see that, let's outline it. You can see a depth here. What is that? That is known as my incisura angularis. This part where you can see the dip on both the sides, we call it incisura angularis. If you pay attention, you can very easily highlight the rugis. And you can see these rugis, they are present in the body of my stomach and they are very nicely visible within this contrast study. So this is the pattern of the rugis which has been widely scattered all across the lumen of my stomach. And after that, this part, this portion is called what? This is the antrum of my stomach. And from the antrum onwards, if you can see, there is A line and then after that it becomes balloon up again like a cap and this place what do we call this place we call it pyloric canal This is my pyloric canal. And after that, this area is known as duodenal cap. Where is this duodenal cap? This is my duodenal cap. It is also known as first part of my duodenum or the superior 
part of the duodenum. And from there onwards, we can very easily see the different parts of the duodenum. This was the first part. This is the second part. There we can see the third part. And the fourth part is going behind. And there we can see the commencement of my duodenum. And this duodenum is primarily present on the left side and later it becomes ileum. And the place where duodenum becomes duodenum, there is an anatomical landmark and this landmark is known as ligament of the treats which has not been shown within this image. Let's recap. You are looking at the esophagus. Then you can see the fundus part of the stomach and there is the, this part is the body of the stomach. And then we can see this stomach, this portion, we call it the antrum. And then we have the pyloric canal and this is my first part of the duodenum or the duodenal cap. And then we can see this duodenum. There is a second part, the third part, the fourth part is behind this body. And because of this abundance of the contrast material, you cannot see that. And then you can see this duodenum, it becomes the duodenum. And the reference point, the landmark where we can demarcate that duodenum is becoming duodenum at that point, that flexure is being highlighted by a ligament and that is known as the ligament of the treats. Thanks for watching.